Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And I do have uh, a special going for you. Today is the last day to get your orders in for that special. It is a person on your mind recorded video reading for $25 and it covers their thoughts and feelings towards you, their intentions and next actions towards you, the challenge between the two of you as well as the potential outcome. And everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is posted on the community page for you. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what's going on for you this week, Aquarius. All right, their feelings towards you, we have the Six of Cups their intentions towards you. We have the Two of Swords, their next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the Queen of Wands, the challenge between the two of you. We have the Star, your energy towards them. We have the Six of Swords, And the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups. I like that. All right, the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy, we have the Fool. So I'm going to be honest with you, Aquarius, it does look like there, to me, this definitely looks like a reconciliation. Okay, it just does. It looks like a reconciliation to me. Um, now, there may be, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this person is a past person and it feels like they are really in the past right now. Okay, you got the Six of Cups for their feelings. Feeling quite nostalgic at this time, very sentimental thinking about the past, thinking about you, thinking about all the times you guys had together. It's it's very, um, like, they are posted up on memory lane with the couch, Netflix, and their beer poozy, okay? They are just spending all the time thinking about you. We have the two of swords here for their intention. Somebody's feeling very indecisive. So they're, they're spending a lot of time thinking about you, thinking about the past, but they're not quite sure. And it says on this card, it says, wake up. What is it that you truly want? I feel like somebody does know what they want, what's going to make them happy. But I also feel like they have some call like demons or shadow aspects, you know, that kind of hold them back. Okay. Whether it's like fears or insecurities, bad habits and behaviors, whatever that looks like for them. You can really see that here on this Queen of Wands is their next actions and behaviors. The Queen of Wands is somebody who knows what they want. They figure that out and they go for it, right? Um, but you can see there's almost like this black cat. And the black cat in the tarot is supposed to be symbolic for like the shadow aspect, the shadow side, right? And it's almost like they're tugging on this person. Like the, it's like whatever the demons are or the bad habits or the bad mindsets, all that stuff is kind of like tugging at them, trying to pull them back. But I feel like this person's like, you know what? No, I'm not going to focus on that. I know what I want and I'm going to go for it. And kind of trying to push past um, those issues or those, you know those things that are kind of tugging back, tugging back at them, you know, and even if it is just fear. Now, I do feel like there's been a lot that's happened here between the two of you because the challenge is the star card. So the star card could talk about one, it could feel like a loss of hope, like this person may feel a little bit hopeless. They may feel like they're not quite sure if you're going to take them back. Um, and some of that is because of the six of swords. They're seeing you as somebody who's moving on. You're kind of, you are trying your best to move on or move forward here. Even if it's not what you wanted, even if it's not easy, I feel like that's what you're, you're trying your best to do. Now, so the star card could just say there's been a lot here that's happened between the two of you. And there's a lot that needs to be healed, you know, and it's not going to be easy. Um, it could also just be a card of hope. Like they feel like maybe it's just not going to happen for them. You could have felt like that as well. You could feel like there's a lot that needs to be healed here between the two of you. You could also feel that, um, you know, maybe it's a little hopeless. You may feel like somebody isn't going to figure out what it is that they want. They're not going to be able to kind of push past those, um, shadow sides or those, you know, bad habits or mindsets or whatever it is here for them. 
But I feel like somebody's ready to take a chance and have a new beginning. I do feel like they've been really looking things over and figuring out what it, what is important to them and what they want. They got this page of swords here with the two of wands. And I feel like they know it's not going to be easy, but they're ready to make a change of direction. They weren't ready to do things differently here. They're wanting something more for themselves. Now with this full energy here, it says take a chance. I definitely feel like somebody's ready to take a chance here. They know it may not go the way that they want it to. They know that you may have already moved on. Maybe you, maybe there is no hope, but I still feel like they're going for it. They're shooting their shot here. And we got two twos here. So it's, they're not the only ones that have a decision to make when it comes to this. You also have one to make this week. You know, whether you're going to open up to something again or not. But the potential outcome is the two of cups. To me, this can be coming into alignment okay but it can also be it says some people are just the pumpkin to your spice like you could feel like this is your person there could definitely be a reconnection here some of you guys may just be getting together and like hey let's go get coffee or let's get together and talk but it does look like coming back into alignment with somebody with the possibility of really being able to heal things here so i really like this for you the signs that i'm seeing we have aries aquarius i see scorpio libra all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Cancer. So those are the signs that I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading. Just because I did not mention a specific sign does not mean that the reading cannot resonate. It absolutely still can resonate for you. Um, but that is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out some of your other sign placements. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you next time.